So what's going on guys, Kades here and welcome back to a brand new video. For today I will show you the top 8 best and most overpowered spells that you will want to use in Hogwarts Legacy. So all the new gameplay has come out and we already are getting the first damage numbers and information for all the confirmed spells. So I've spent a lot of hours watching every single gameplay from every single Hogwarts Legacy video and then I compared them and these are the results. So if this sounds interesting to you then let's get right into it. So then before we start I have split this video in three small parts. In the first part I will quickly explain about how spells work and how can you unlock them in Hogwarts Legacy. Then in the second part I will show you every single confirmed spell and what those spells are good for. And then lastly I will rank top 8 most powerful spells by their damage numbers and how good they are against different monsters and enemies. So then with all of this said, now let's move over to the first part. And as the game hasn't come out yet, we don't know every single spell that will be available for Hogwarts Legacy, as the developers are leaving some things to be revealed once the game is released. However, thanks to gameplay and video trailers, there are few things that we already know. So first of all, right now it's confirmed that there will be more than 20 different spells, and they can be split into two groups, called slotable spells and essential spells. You can choose your favorite slotable spell to keep in your spell diamond, or quick access, and you can change them around at any time. While essential spells are deemed more crucial, and are more likely to be needed in specific situations or against specific monsters. Your own 4 chosen spells will be accessed from the spell diamond in the bottom right hand corner of the screen by holding down your controller's right trigger button, and then pressing the relevant button for your desired spell. And then your essential spell is accessed using the left button on the d-pad, and then in mid-fight you will be able to choose and change your spells using the right d-pad button. And as for keyboard and mouse players, we haven't seen any gameplay for it yet, but I expect that this game will be similar to The Witcher 3. So on your keyboard you will just keybind different buttons to each skill. Through the course of the game you will have the chance to unlock up to 3 additional spell diamonds, meaning that you will have up to 16 specific spells at your fingertips, ready for combat at any time. Rather than filling the bottom of the screen with 16 spell diamonds, we will be able to simply use the D-pad, while holding the right trigger button to scroll through your preset diamonds. And again on keyboard, instead of having 16 keybinds to press, I imagine that we will have 4 keys for the main skills. So for example for the first 4 spells, we will have to press key 1, 2, 3 and 4. And then to scroll through the next 4 skill diamond, we will just have to press for example number Q, and this will select the second diamond. So then we again use 1, 2, 3 and 4, and then press Q again to select the third diamond and etc. And then last but not the least, to access your spell diamond it is essential that you're holding the right trigger through, because just basic tapping a key will only trigger a basic spell. So in combat you will be able to press the right trigger button multiple times to chain a combo of attacks and much more. So then moving over to the second part of this video, and here I will explain and show you every single spell that we have seen in Hogwarts Legacy. And then afterwards I will quickly tell you the top 8 best and most overpowered spells that you should unlock and use at the start of the game. So then the first spell is called Crucio. This spell will inflict excruciating pain on the target, which is why it is known as the Torture Curse. This spell is a basic damage skill that most likely in the future can be upgraded to not only do single target damage, but do AoE damage as well. Then the second spell is called the Petrificus Totalus, and this spell petrifies the target's body, which means that enemy's resistance will be reduced, so usually before casting high damage skills, you will want to use the Petrificus Totalus to weaken the enemy and then do your big damage skills. Then the next one is called Rictosampra, and the spell will cause the target to laugh uncontrollably. This spell is usually used during duels to distract your opponent. And if you played World of Warcraft, then the spell is similar to Sheep, where you make the enemy run uncontrollably, and he can't cast or use any spells for a second or two. But of course, while the Rictus Emperor spell is active, you should not damage the enemy again, or the laughing spell will break. Then the next one is called Ridiculous, and the spell is used against Bogarts to force them to take another shape. Bogarts are magical beings slash monsters, that are shapeshifters, that can assume the form of the enemy's worst fear. So this spell will be specifically needed to be used against this enemy. Then the fifth skill is called Stupefy, and this spell is used in combat to stun opponents. 
So if you ever need your enemy immobile for a second or two, then use this skill, and then do big damage with the rest of your skills, and he won't be able to escape your shots. Then the next one is called Lumos, and the spell makes the tip of your wand light up, so you can use a flashlight. As far as we know, this skill won't do any damage, but it is a simple spell to use to get better lightning when you are exploring or fighting monsters in the dark. Then the next skill is called Incendio, and this is a spell that conjures fire. This spell is seen during the Hogwarts Legacy trailers as a way to attack enemies. So I assume that it's another basic damage ability that can set weaker enemies on fire as well. Then for the next one we have the Avada Kedavra, and this is a very powerful and forbidden spell that kills its target instantly. Like we have seen from the Harry Potter movies, this is one if not the most powerful spell. So most likely this will be an ultimate ability that we can use only every 60 seconds or perhaps we will need to eliminate a bunch of enemies to then unlock this skill and then do big damage. No matter how we will be able to unlock it, this spell will be 100% the most powerful spell in the whole game. Then the next one is called Protego and this spell is used during combat to guard the caster against the incoming damage. So you will want to use the Protego skill to defend yourself and block or reduce the enemy's damage. Then the next spell is called Wingardium Leviosa, and this is a spell that lifts small objects or animals in the air. While this spell doesn't work on humans, it can make them levitate a few feet up in the air. So this is another great skill that won't do damage, but it can be used to cancel the enemy's attack. So if you ever see your opponent casting a spell, then use the Wingardium Leviosa and it will cancel their spell by making them levitate in the air for a short time. Then for the 11th spell we have the Aseo. This spell will summon an object into the caster's arms. In the gameplay footage we can see this spell being used to summon a nearby platform, so then the player can continue moving forwards. So this will be a simple skill that most likely will be used in quests, so you can move around the area a lot quicker or perhaps even to unlock secret passageways. Then for the next one we have the Flipendo, and this is a spell that knocks the target backwards. Like the stun or air levitation, this is another good skill to use on the enemy, which won't be doing that much damage, but it will put the enemy in weaker position. Then for one of the last ones we have the Descendo, and this is a spell that will slam objects or enemies down. So very similar to the previous skill, this is a small spell that you can quickly use on the enemies to slam objects or targets on the ground. Then for the next skill we have the Mysterious Magic. One of the key elements in Hogwarts Legacy Story is the fact that the protagonist can cast Mysterious Magic that not even the Hogwarts professor can understand. It is confirmed that you will be able to use this type of magic in combat, but the incantations for these spells are still unknown. So similar to Avada Kedavra, this is another very powerful skill, which we have seen only used in movies, but I assume that it will do very high damage. And then for the last and final spell we have the unknown offensive spell. During the gameplay footage we could see an offensive spell. During the dueling and battles, this spell will cast a red line from the caster's wand. While the name of the spell is still unknown, it could be a variation of the blue spark spell. That instead of casting and doing damage once, you will be able to use the spell and while casting do damage multiple times. And as far as we know, that's it. These are 15 spells that we've seen and can confirm from the Hogwarts Legacy trailers. Like I said at the beginning of the video, the developers won't show us everything and the last 5 skills we will be able to experience and see only when the game releases. So then with all of this said, let's take a closer look at the top 8 most powerful spells and I've ranked them by their use cases on the enemies and by pure damage numbers. So the first spell in this tier list is of course the Avada Kedavra. Like from the game description and the movies, this is known as one of the most powerful spells and you will want to use it as soon as you can in Hogwarts Legacy. Then the second spell is the Mysterious Magic. At the start of the story, only the protagonist will know how to use it. So I expect that one of your quests will be to learn this skill. Then the third spell is called Crucio. This spell will inflict excruciating pain on a target and it will be one of the most used damage skills for most players. Then for the next spell we have the Pacificus Totalus that will petrify the enemy's body making them weaker and giving you more damage. Then the fifth skill is called Incendio and this spell will attack enemies with fire. 
and most likely we will be able to use talents to then upgrade this skill to not only do damage once but as well set the enemies on fire so they would be taking fire damage constantly then the next skill is called the Rictus Sampra that will make your enemies laugh uncontrollably this skill won't be doing damage but it will be amazing to confuse the enemy and not allow him to use spells for a short time then for one of the last ones we have the stupefy spell this might seem like a simple stun spell but if you played other RPGs stunning your enemy is an easy way to start the fight to then use your damage skills and then the enemy won't be able to escape and then for the last and final spell we have the Protego and this is a defensive skill that will either way completely block the enemy attack or at least reduce his damage and that's about it so I really do appreciate everyone for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed it if you have any suggestions, feedback or other good Hogwarts Legacy guides that you would like to see in the next video then feel free to leave your comments in the comment section down below and while you're doing that, please click like, subscribe and enable that notification bell. So this way you could support the channel and you won't miss any more amazing content from me. With all this said, you have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. So take it easy. Peace.